traffic sucks. So I'm on the I-495, which to most people, if you don't know what it is, it's the uh, Long Island Expressway. And the traffic here is just ridiculous. But this is par for the course where you're commuting to work and commuting back home from work. It's Friday. Uh, and still waiting to get that paycheck, which is probably in the mail because direct deposit hasn't started for me yet in this new position. And while I really like this position because I'm all over the place, I was at the, out at the field or out on the field today with my boss, which was pretty awesome. You know, I learned a lot. and I learned, I'm learning more about how the hospital system works with the mental health system. And sometimes it's, you know, disillusioning to find out that, you know, sometimes people at the hospital don't do the job they're supposed to do, so you got to wait longer. Or, you know, you want to make sure that your client's needs are met. So today was not a bad day. It was a pretty cool day. Um, I'm just glad it's Friday, but I really, really wish that, you know, they would deposit my check because this is ridiculous. I need to deposit that stuff. July has been a tough month because it's financially so because I started this new position, ugh, this new position and, um, you know, paying rent was scary this month because I was a week late, but I got it, you know, um, after the last bank I was with just totally screwed everything up and gave me an anxiety attack of an anxiety attack of oh my god then led me right into a, ma a major depression and poor Andy had to see that and it wasn't fun I don't think for him uh, it never is I mean uh, all I could say is that I'm very fortunate to have someone in my life who doesn't judge me at all so that's new for me. So I'm very lucky. He doesn't even judge what I eat. You know, he's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, I'm still on the I-495 trying to make it to exit 51 and trying to get home. But this shit is just taking way too long and I'm exhausted. I just want to go home, take a shower and I don't know, make a small dinner, which I don't know what, that's probably going to be some pasta and just pass out. Maybe some pasta with olives. That sounds really yummy. I might just do that. Um, tomorrow I have my reading because I've been working on a, you know, just for fun film called Not for Lack of Trying. It's something I wrote to process the feelings I've been experiencing before the divorce actually happened. And um, it was a good, I, I mean, it's not a, it was a good therapeutic thing, very good catharsis for me. But it's definitely nowhere near an Oscar winner. Hell, it's not even, <laughs> I don't even think it's a winner really. But that's why it's going on YouTube because I don't expect to become famous from this. I don't want to market this. I just want to do this for fun, you know. When I decided that acting just wasn't where I was supposed to be, there was a part of me that missed it and still does. And it's because it was fun. It wasn't because it was my bread and butter. I didn't want to get paid to do it. I realized what I really wanted to do was just to have fun. I enjoyed the stage. I enjoyed being behind the camera. I had fun, you know. And when you're surrounded by other actors who take it as, you know, something serious, which is understandable because that's their career choice, uh, some of them might actually be a little resentful of the fact that you see it as fun and, you know, and nothing more than just the best time. Um, that's how I saw it. I had so much fun. And yeah, I went on auditions. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. I loved every minute of it. It was hard for me to come out of my shell. I was always so nervous. I still am. You know, I still have my anxiety. But when I get into it, I have fun. And once I have fun, I let go. So, writing the script was a lot. And uh, it was a lot of interesting things for me. And the cast that I'm working with are also a group of good friends and new friends, you know. And um, I'm very lucky to be surrounded by great people in my life. So this should be interesting. But honestly, this, um, oh my God, this traffic, I mean, Jesus. <sighs> Sorry, I keep going back and forth about this reading I'm having tomorrow and the traffic that's going on today. Um, let me go back to the reading. The reading on Saturday... Uh, it's taking place at Pat and Kelly's house, which is really nice of them because, you know, actually I think it was out of the fact that I don't have, it was out of, <laughs> it was actually their idea because they were like, you don't have air conditioning. They would be correct. I do not have air conditioning. 
supposed to order one this week, an air conditioner, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen now due to my financial circumstances. So I might just end up getting it in August or not at all. Who knows? I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Right now, rent and food are the most important things. And me paying some bills and a loan off. That's just been very difficult to do in the last month. So I'm trying to just get it done. So that's why the air conditioner hasn't happened. But the reading will be at their place and it's going to be a lot of fun. And then that's about it after that. I'm probably going to spend the day, you know, either with Andy or I don't know. But it'll be a good time either way because I love hanging out with all of them. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. Um, still trying to get through this traffic. I'm trying to get through all of it. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to get home. According to the GPS, it's like 5.54. I mean, seriously, 5.54? Damn. Ugh, this is going to be forever. Oh, my God. Oh, well. I guess I will talk to you guys later since it's been a long time for a vlog. Since I've done a vlog. I can't even speak right now because I'm concentrating on the road. Before I end this vlog, though, I should say that um, I know it's been a while since Mistress Layla has made an appearance, but let's just say it's a bit too hot for her to be sitting there in her outfit. Yes, she actually is wearing clothing, contrary to popular belief. And it's a lot because, you know, it's very sweaty where I live. So when she makes a visit, she likes to be comfortable. The last visit was hard because she was sweating up a storm to the point where the mask kept sliding off her face and she had to keep adjusting it. So um, eventually she'll make she'll make another appearance, but she'll probably make an appearance later in the fall. So until then, it'll just be my boring old self. So enjoy the weekend, folks. Enjoy the weekend. It is the dog days of summer can't believe July is almost over. We're hopping on to August already. This year went so freaking fast. And August, well, that's a special month for me. And I'll get into that when the time comes. Till then, ciao.